Well, the final day of the Breeders' Cup at Del Mar finished off with the $6 million Breeders' Cup Classic, and that was won by Nick's Go, a five-year-old American thoroughbred that held off a Kentucky Derby winner and a Belmont Stakes winner. Yeah, people from all over the country attending this year's Breeders' Cup after the coronavirus put races on pause for a while. Fox 5's Clara Benitez brings us all the excitement as she caught up with some of the fans in the stands. When we want to love, we love. When we want to kiss, we kiss. Thousands placing their best bets. Probably going with Medina Spirit and uh, Bob Baffert, trainer, you know. Some getting lucky with pure chance. Well, everybody studies it and researches it, but I get lucky with other rays. You know, what color is the horse, <laughs> the names, and the jockeys. Others matching their predicted winners. The suit is, matches the jockey silks of our horse in the classic Max Blair. And after months in lockdown, fans are happy to be back. It was a nice change to come and be part of this. So. We've looked forward to this. You know, we were like all watching the news to make sure it was going to happen. You know, with the flights too, at the last minute, that you know, because of change in flights and all that good stuff, didn't matter. We kept changing our flights, especially in sunny San Diego. Some fun out of life. The day's beautiful. The sun's shining. People are out. We get to mingle, been making new friends, and just talking to everyone that has the same common interest as us. And the 2021 Breeders' Cup bets. Coming down to the wire. Yes, the last race. All those scratches, now we won. <laughs> when we want to play, we play. The Breeders' Cup will be in Lexington, Kentucky next year. Reporting from the Del Mar Fairgrounds, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.